Hello everyone and welcome to Philly Dancer Feed. We received a lot of requests from you guys to do a dance tutorial, so here you go. And this video is designed for beginners, so we're gonna learn together the fundamentals of ballroom dancing. So let's get started right away. Just to be clear, this tutorial is for female and male, so you don't need a partner. Just have fun with it, it's gonna be super easy. Now, let's get started with the four directions of movements that you're gonna be using a lot. Treat ballroom dancing just like walking, as if you're walking in the street. The first direction of movements is simple and it's just walking forward. So we're just gonna walk forward. The second one, we're gonna be walking backward. Just walk backward. We don't do this often, but we can do it. The last two are the side step. We'll go right or left, doesn't matter. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Think about it like you're going to the cinema and you wanna pass through the seats. Then you forgot your popcorn and you wanna just get it, right? So simple as that. These are the four direction movements. Very simple things we do almost every day. Imagine if we put them together, we can dance some dances. Now let's move on for the three basic elements that also we're gonna be using a lot. The first basic element, we call it a box. Remember the four direction of movements? We're gonna take one step of each and create a little box underneath us. So we're gonna start with the left foot forward. We take one step, one step, then one cinema to the side and then together. And then take your right backward, right back, then side to the cinema and then together. We create a little box. One more time with the left forward, one cinema together, right backward, right cinema together. Beautiful, one more time. One, two, together, right side together. One more time. One, two, together, back side together. And here we go, we created a little box. And now for the second basic element that we're gonna be using a lot, which we call it the rock step. Rock step is very simple, it's something like marching. So we're just gonna march in the place using our knees. We'll do it from this side so you can see I'm just using my knees, nothing special. All right, now what we're simply doing here is we are changing weight from leg to another through our knees. So try not to do that, make sure you're just in the place using your knees. Very good. Now, how are we gonna apply this? We're gonna take rock step or march step and we're gonna put one foot behind the other and keep marching. Go something like that. We'll go with the right backward, rock step, rock step, rock step, rock step. Again, don't do this for now. All right, now let's do forward with the left and keep marching so we go rock step the right foot stays in the place only the left goes forward make sure that you practice your knees because you can it's okay you can lift your feet up don't worry about it just lift them up feel that you're changing weight make sure everything is up and doing don't rock with it back and forward again Beautiful, and that's a rock step. So we've got a box step that we're gonna be using a lot and the rock step. And the third basic elements will be the triple step. So remember the cinema? It's something like that. We'll go three step to the side and come back. So it goes one, two, three. You have a little tap when you arrive. Very good. Two, three, one, two, three. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Tap, one, two, three. One, two, three, and the speed and the tempo depending on the song, on the dance, and everything else. Beautiful, great. Now we've got four direction movements, one basic elements, the box, the rock step, and the triple step. If we put all of this together, we can dance a lot of dances. Let me prove it to you. Now, when it comes to the box step, this is the basic step of the waltz and rumba and samba, and we can use it sometimes in other dances like Foxtrot. So for example, the box step is used in walls. It goes something like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Or Roomba, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And that's exactly where we're gonna use it. Now, 
The rock step is very interesting because you can use it in many dances, such as salsa. You're going, we said march step, right? So we'll go one, two, three, five, six, seven, and go here, one, two, three. And that's salsa basic, one, two, three, five, six, seven. See, you can use it in many things. Now, when it comes to triple step, it goes for, for example, in the swing and cha-cha, let's say. So we'll try the swing, it goes triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step. Beautiful. If we combine, for example, rock step with a triple step, what do we have? We have a cha-cha basic. It goes something like that. Rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Rock, step, cha-cha, one. Rock, step, cha-cha, one. You see how much you can use it in very simple things. As you see, it's easy as that. You have four direction movements that you're going forward and backward and side and side. And then we have a three basic elements, the box, rock, step, and triple step. Mix them together and you can dance the basic steps of many dances. FYI, there are two ballroom dance style in the world. There's an international style and there's an American style. And what we do here is we teach American style ballroom dancing. However, these basic elements that you've learned today are applied for every kind of ballroom dancing. So don't worry, just learn them, make sure that you get them well. They're very easy, very simple. And for the next tutorial, we're gonna be working on the frame or the dance hold. How properly can you stand on the dance floor, whether you're female or a male. However, for the next one, you don't need a partner either. We're just gonna demonstrate for you how you can be standing by yourself as a lady or as a gentleman. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial for today. And if you like it and you think it's beneficial, please subscribe, like, and share, and hit us in a comment and let us know what you think. Get up and practice, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.